Okay, welcome back to your second part uh, for your major project. And we're going to continue working with our spreadsheet here, which is a spreadsheet of grades for students. And you can see here are the grades. We've already covered the conditional formatting. So let's cover a few other things. What I like to do is uh, add a row above all of this so I can add a title to the page. So I'm going to right click on one and I'm going to click on insert. Once I do that, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And in the very first cell, A1, I'm going to put in here uh, student grades. I'm going to click on bold. I'm going to click on the font increase font size button. Now I'm going to right click in A1 and I'm going to uh, format the cells and I'm going to take its alignment, okay, not number this time. We're going to work with alignment. We're going to do a uh, vertical, set our vertical to center, and say OK. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to work with multiple cells like this, and I'm going to basically treat it like a table where I want to merge a couple cells. So I'm going to actually just select all of the cells, okay, all the way across, and I'm going to use... And let me get back here. Let me drag all of these. I'm going to use the Merge and Center tool that's on the toolbar. So I'm just going to click it, and you can see what we get there. So a little bit of formatting for the header of our, our page. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I like to build onto the content that we have because you know these grades are great, and these grades are good if I want to see what these individual students are making. And for some of you that might be teachers or might need to teach some a teacher how to use Excel, these are great little things to know, but you know the end result for each student is not always um, at this level when we're looking at everything exactly what we want to see. We want to see how are our students doing overall. So what I'm going to do is here I'm going to click underneath this column for the assignment, and I'm interested in seeing how well the students did uh, on average. So what I'm going to do is come up to the Auto Sum feature and hit Enter. And you'll notice that what it does here, if you click uh, on the down arrow, it did a sum. So it uh, put a number here. It gave me a down arrow. But really what I'm interested in is the average. So I'm going to click on the average there. And likewise, I'm going to copy that formula all the way across. So I can see here that, you know, on average, students uh, you know, made in the uh, D level here, DC. This is a C level. Uh, students here did a B level, so I can see a growth spurt here. I can see that our students are getting better, and of course, we probably jumped into a whole different set of content. So, but anyway, the, these numbers are important, and um, it's important to understand that you can choose auto sum here, and then change the type of sum to whatever is more. Uh, beneficial to you. So anyway, this is just good data to see because this allows me to see if I want to maybe look at some of the uh, questions, uh, you know, where did the students go wrong and, and why did they do so bad and also in some uh, of the tests and why did they do so well. All right, so now what I'm interested in is to take a look at this data by uh, looking at it in a uh, graphical form and we're going to take a look at doing some graphs and charts. Now, the only thing that I really want on my uh, graph is going to be the student's first name and the actual grade itself. So we need to use uh, the Shift key when we uh, select our data. So, for example, I can highlight this information, press the Shift key, and come over and select the rest. All right. So let me back up there a little bit and let you know that you can highlight this right here. And instead of using the Shift key, try the Control key. So I'm going to hold the Control key down and now uh, come over here. Okay, so you can see that uh, the shift key will allow me to select everything, but if I wanted to select bits and pieces of this chart and uh, graph, I need to uh, use the control key. Now I'm going to go up to the top and click on insert. Now one of the, you know, you're going to you're going to have to create for me as a part of this assignment uh, at least six different charts. So uh, the, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want you to see what those charts look like and which ones make better sense. So at, at first glance, how are these, uh, how will the data translate 
to your brain and, and what will you pick up on the quickest. So for example, I can do a column chart here and let's just do a simple 3D uh, or a simple column here. And you can see that uh, here overall, you know, it kind of gives me how well the student did, but it's not very uh, explanatory. You know, it's not giving me really the, the information that I need on an overall uh, period here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to highlight this information again, and I'm going to choose the control key, come down, select my grade. I'm going to insert this time. I'm going to insert a scatter diagram. And this is what we call uh, really scatter diagrams are great for regression analysis and regression simply, you know, the comparison of two like items and, and how closely do they relate. So I'm going to click on scatter diagram and just choose any uh, of these here. All right, so now I can move my graph down, and you can see here that I can see students did well on average. So coming across, looking this way, I can see overall, and I got a couple students down here that uh, you know that didn't do too well, but overall, you know, the, the class did pretty well. So again, that's really why I like using the scatter diagram. So let's uh, go ahead and take a look at a couple more, and again, your assignment requirements is you need to create six of these charts. I don't care what chart you use, just, uh, you know, I need to be able to look at the data and be able to see what you're talking about. So let's uh, insert one more. So I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to select this data here, come over and choose my grades and um, let's use a pie chart. Okay. So again, this pie chart here doesn't really measure a whole lot because it's not really saying much. Like, for example, what is the difference between uh, this student, Mark, and this student here, which is uh, Susie? So what are the differences? So there just are some things that we can do. I can actually right click on these uh, charts and I can add the data labels to these and it'll actually let me have a better look at what I'm looking at. But you can see this chart right here is not something I use. I really go back to the scatter diagram. But again, for this assignment, create six charts and put those on a separate page. Okay, so you're going to ask, well, how do I do that? So right here is, uh, I've got a worksheet, and this worksheet here is called Grades. And I'm going to take, and uh, while holding the Shift key, I'm going to click all three of these, and I'm going to do a cut. Get rid of them. I'm going to come over to my graphs. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to delete these, so... We can do these again. So uh, here I renamed this sheet to graphs. So you can do the same thing. And then I want you to do is right click and you don't want to uh, do the paste. Because if you do this, you end up with one large image you have to resize and you can't uh, move these around. You want to use this first. Uh, so it's use destination theme. And now what I can do is I can actually move these uh, individuals. So, I'm going to move this up into the top left corner, move this underneath it, and you can see that my lines, my borders, are matching up now. So here, I'm going to put this chart here, and now I've got uh, two charts. If I click on it, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the arrow keys on the keyboard and just nudge. I'm going to click on that again, and I'm not quite getting the chart. I'm going to use the mouse there and nudge that along. So you can see I've got uh, two graphs that are lined up horizontally and two graphs that are lined up vertically. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now, once you get your six graphs on a page, you're going to need to set your um, print area. So, for example, I'm going to select here and go all the way up to A1. So if you look at my range there, uh, R32 to C16, uh, all right, so I'm gonna just click down here. I'm just coming out to the right of this graph and I'm coming down just below this graph. And of course, again, you're gonna have six of these to print, so make sure you get all of these uh, in on your page. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna page layout and I'm gonna go to print area. I'm gonna do a set print area. You know your print area is set when you have um, these dashed lines. It's going to show you what your pages look like. Now, in order to print these, okay, I'm going to go to print, 
And on the scaling, I'm going to say fit to one page. And also, I want to change my orientation to landscape. And that way, my graphs become a little bit bigger. And you can also notice that I, I still have a one inch by one inch margin all the way around. <clears throat> so I'm going to come down to the bottom right. And it's what we call our show margins. So I can move that up a little bit. I can move that down a little bit. And if I need to, I can move that left and right, and that will allow me more space for my graphs, and then you'll see that the graphs will get bigger as you play with these. So it's just a little bit of manipulation. So this is all under print, and we've got the uh, show margins here, and you can manipulate the margins, okay? All right, so anyway, that'll cover what I would like for you to do for this assignment, uh, and that is to have the grades in, um, and also I'd like you to have six graphs. Okay? I just simply want you to learn how to work with graphs and charts. Now what I'm going to do next here is just show you how in the business world we use this data and this information. And what I'm going to do is uh, let's go home. All right. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take this scatter diagram, and I'm going to copy that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up uh, Microsoft Word. And I am going to do a new document, blank, and just do a uh, paste. Now, there's different types of pastes that we can use here. We can use destination uh, formatting, uh, keep source formatting, an embed workbook. Okay, and embed's really the, the keyword for what I'm going to, to to get you to learn here. Embed will allow you to. Uh, use the data in Excel, and once that data is modified, it'll also change in your other applications that you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just choose this option here. And again, let me show you how that works. All right, I'm going to take this data, and you can see here uh, our scatter diagram, and I'm just going to move this down a little bit. And I'm going to come back over to my graph. And I am going to change um, these grades right here to zeros. Okay. Now what I'll do is as I come back over to here, so paste, source formatting, keep embed, Use destination and link data. All right, that's probably the one I wanted right there. So, and I did. So, let me go ahead and take that off. So, uh, again, I'm going to go back to that paste option because I told you wrong. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, use destination thing and link data. All right. So, what happens again? I'm going to go back into Microsoft Word and I'm going to put a 10 here. Hit tab. Put a 10. Tab. Uh, let's give this person here a zero and notice down here as I am modifying my grades the chart changes as well okay so for example if I come in here let's just do this let's just put zeros across through here and you'll see that that student just dropped in their grade and I'm gonna move this uh, I'm gonna do like this I'm not sure if you're able to see it or not but let's just do another student so I'm gonna do zero Zero, 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 zero. Now, notice what I'm doing. I'm working in Microsoft Excel, and I'm, I'm, I'm manipulating the data there, but it's also changing the information in my Microsoft Word document. And this is the power behind Microsoft Word. This is why uh, we prefer that students use and learn how to use this, because it's going to be a great tool for you to learn in, or to use when you get out there in the industry. So, uh, but anyway, uh, linking your data, which allows you to uh, modify here. So imagine that you're actually doing a report for your boss, and then the next month you got to do another report. Well, instead of retyping the report, all you got to do is go in and submit it, update the data, and the charts and stuff will change automatically. You just go into the other document and print, you're done. So it makes it kind of nice. All right. So anyway, uh, we are going to get to some pretty intense uh, projects here. For example, you're going to create a Microsoft Access database, and with that data that's in there, you're going to go into Microsoft Word, you're going to do a mail merge using the data that you inputted into your Access database. So again, that's why I wanted to see a little bit how these programs can work together. So let me go ahead and close out Microsoft Word. And okay, now in order to uh, complete your project, make sure that you put your name on your project somewhere. 
All right, doesn't matter where you put it. And also put uh, the name of the course. And then what you do is I want you to save this Excel document and upload it into the Dropbox that's going to be in week two there. Uh, matter of fact, I believe I have to create a, a new assignment, uh, or I, I believe that the, this actually lesson where the videos are is a place where you can actually upload it, uh, your assignment there. So, but anyway, uh, I'm looking for details, and, and in Microsoft Word, you guys wrote a professional paper, and, and you guys left out a lot of information. You know, some of you didn't uh, update your table of contents when you sent the information in. Um, you know, so again, I'm looking for you guys to to pay attention to details. So. Change your titles of your charts. Make sure your uh, information is aligned and uh, accurate. And you know, so for example, if I, look at, if I came up here and I did a file print, is my data going to print? You know, and I need to make sure that um, everything is good to go. And it's just less work for me to to do all this. So, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to call me or email me or message me inside of Blackboard or send a discussion so that other students can actually participate in the discussion. So, uh, thank you very much.